I'm back, back in action. It's Labor Day weekend, and I'm trying to like get my shit together. And I'm gonna be doing this whole new thing called Books of Barbecue Part Two. Remember last Books of Barbecue I did when I was here? I think it was like I got my grill going. It's hot as shit. It's like been over a hundred for nearly sixty days. Everything is just getting pulted to death, and so I'm here hanging out in my my uh, my little studio mini building. And uh, so, what projects? <clears throat> the Bucks of Barbecue Part Two is going to be a voyage on these twelve paintings that I'm working on. These twelve months of the, and they're all going to be related to bars and situations around uh, Hayes County here. The calendar will be called Hazy Vision. So this is my new launching of the effort. It's going to be launched. And so what's the first one? What's the first painting that I wanted to get to? And how do you crack this and begin this? Well, the first thing I was starting to work on is these, these things called slut carts. That's what everybody, everybody's been calling them. Slut carts. To my new slut cart painting. The thing about making YouTube videos is there's drama and there's also just studio. I'm an artist. I'm not really a filmmaker. So I just got to keep the videos, everything related to a painting. You know, like some or another, keep it focused on that because it just gets too crazy. I, I'll start coming up with all kind of retarded, you know, video ideas and they just they consume a lot of time and money and I'm kind of broke right now. I can't just go to a really good painting I made of a, or made of Ruby. Get a little glimpse of it. And, uh, it says her, you know, and all her tattoos riding a, a you know, donkey, whipping that donkey to move your ass. You know, I think it's an eloquent cute little drawing of her. Cause, you know, we ain't, all right, I don't talk to Ruby much anymore. She's over. And eventually I'm going to get around when I'm not so hurt anymore. I'm going to talk about what really happened over there. The truth. Yeah, it's coming up. You'll see. I'm just waiting for her. She just sort of fades out into the distance. You know, she can't afford internet. So she's she's forgotten about the whole fiasco with me and Justin and whatnot. And she's just going to drift off into the, into the tapestry of life, you know. And then I'll come back. Like I always come back. So... So what is it? The first, the first one. It's going to be Books of Barbecue Part Two. The cart paintings, the slut cart paintings. And let me show you uh, what I mean by this. I have, you know, actually I sold that Ruby painting, the Move Your Ass painting. I sold that painting. Can you believe that? A guy named Michael Wayne up in uh, Dallas for like 200 and it's 260. I don't know. I need the fucking money. I got more paintings. And so this is like one of them here. It's going to be a really good one. I don't know if y'all can see this, this is the beginning phase of it. It's called uh, Grandma Takes Her Fat Drunken Granddaughter Home. And you'll be sure in the back she's going to be driving. It's going to be like one of those grandmother, granddaughter, and she's all being bitchy. This comes from watching a, a, lot, uh, watch a lot of Maury. And you always got these mothers trying to rescue their their slutty, obnoxious daughters. So this is kind of like the cart yard. The, my slut cart series is more or less based on. I guess women relation relationships with women. Not me personally, just you know, just stuff I see on TV, you know. This is actually not really slug. There's gonna be a woman drinking with a hog, you know. I like the cart stuff. It, to me, what it is. Now this painting right here is the first of the books of the calendar works are gonna be all be be about animals, bar life, bar trash, uh, women's issues. Uh, Location, very location based around San Marcos. And there's a lot, a lot of neat places around San Marcos. I want to honor these locations by making paintings about ideas I get from. So, this is going to be one of the first ones that's going to come right out of the thing. And I can envision this thing called Jack's Roadhouse or Jack's Bar right off the street here. And I'm going to have that right here. And it's going to be these two, two women fighting over a property line. And they're both getting each other the bird, flipping each other off, you know. And I made it really big because there's this one here. This is called, this is the woman she'd be drinking. She came back from the bar and it's called Open Container. Open Container Laws. Of course, she's naked. So that, this is a wonderful, a wonderful piece of art, folk art masterpiece that I got going on right now in August. You see, that was one of the things I discovered after last Friday 13th deal. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was, uh, Mentally, mentally and morally devastated from uh, last Friday 13th. You know, it was like 
you know those pieces my uh, you know, pooing and peeing and red mud didn't really sell from did sell all and that was a, I thought that was a good piece and then there was this piece of you know the little the little thing and I'll, I'll be right back let me get some I mean look at this this thing didn't sell you know we got this thing all re just and restitched it all back up again you know it's just got a little bit of a uh, a little bit of Haas dog jizz on it, and other than that, it's, it's a really good piece of original sculpture, red mud. And I might just, you know, dip this whole thing in, and, uh, you know, wood putty or wood glue. You know, this thing didn't sell. This, this is, it's been sitting out there in the yard. I, I, gotta, I gotta protect this. This is too important to keep. So, yeah, after that, I was, I was pretty wiped out. I just didn't feel like I could do anymore. I couldn't top myself and you know, taking red and you know, after talking to Justin and how he gave me lectures about what I was doing was wrong and it's just it only comes to a point where it's just like beating up on it just doesn't make any difference anymore. You know. So I just didn't feel like doing any video. I took a little break, a little siesta these pieces were there but then some dawned on me when I you know the Friday 13th was kind of a that was a big deal you know there's one piece I had I don't have it here anymore well I just I'll show you the little video clip of what happened that well I didn't know video but it was like this piece right here this painting you know bang bus Sheila well you know when I made that painting you know, I posted it on my Chicken Dead Chicken site. Something really phenomenal happened. I didn't realize until the very end of the Friday the 13th deal that everything seemed to be a loss. But I realized the one thing that when I, you know, listed Bang Bus Sheila on YouTube and my Chicken Dead Chicken site, it was the first in the Google search engine for Bang Bus Sheila. This model, all of a sudden, this painting that I made, it became, it was out there. It was like a miracle that happened. Like this one painting I made of Bang Bus Sheila, all of a sudden was catapulted in the, the Google search catch cache is the, one of these images. So now chicken that chicken is now associated with Sheila, Bang Bus Sheila. Because you know there's so many slutty porn chicks out there. I mean there's probably thousands, millions of them. Well I actually was able to merge. It was like my version of having sex with her on the internet. So it's like my now my that painting and her are now intertwined. And that to me was a, a fucking miracle that I could actually do that. Now I'm going to keep it up there rolling with it. So then I started realizing, you know, what is, what is folk art? What the fuck is really folk art about? And then I, I had this whole vision about making folk art porn based on these lost models, this, this giant mammoth ocean of women that's been developed over the last 20 years of, of the media. So I started picking them out and making them like, putting them in little pond scenes and and I thought this is what real folk art is about. It's like really capturing this lost history. And so I started making these folk art paintings, these folk porn paintings, which I'll, I am over in this other place. Hi, this is Fairly from Fairly Art. I hope you enjoy my paintings.